En route from Nisna to Port Elizabeth on the garden route, there are a number of worthwhile stops. On the recommendation of a friend, we decided to stop at Tsitsikama National Park. The park is known for its dramatic coastline and secluded beaches which contain a dense interior of indigenous forests. It's not uncommon to spot dolphins, porpoises, seals, and whales in the coastal waters. We decided on the Mouth Trail, a two-kilometer hike that is also the most popular hike at Tsitsikama. Before we even started the hike, we came upon a small sand beach that was hard to tear the kids away from. They just wanted to play in the golden sand and run into the crashing waves. We promised to return after the hike for more playtime. There are many worthwhile multi-day hikes like the Otter Trail, which is five days, and the Dolphin Trail, which is two days, but we will have to save those for another future trip when the children are older. The Mouth Trail took us along a wooden boardwalk through an indigenous forest with rich green foliage. At the mouth of the Storms River, there are three suspension bridges of about 70 meters each that are thrilling to walk over. There was a sign that only 25 people are allowed on a bridge at a time. Across the second bridge, we enjoyed a short break at a rock beach. The rocks had become so smooth and round after millions of years of being washed over by the rough ocean current. We found some rock sculptures around the beach Rand and Dean enjoyed lifting the heavy rocks and throwing them into the ocean, only for the rocks to be washed back onto the shore a few moments later. We walked the distance back to the trailhead, savoring every moment in the lush forest with views of the rugged coastline below. When we reached the Sandy Bay gift shop, we found a picnic table to enjoy a picnic of salami sandwiches with avocado, tomato, and greens, chips, and oranges. After our half-day visit to Tsitsikama National Park, we were back in the car and on our way.